Okay, hey everyone, uh, back here. We are 4-0 in this league, um, and heading on to the fifth and final round. Uh, it's being funny, looks like it. All right, so here's the thing. Uh, looks like we lost the die roll, uh, so we're gonna be on the draw. And go ahead, and this looks like a pretty acceptable seven. It's not the best, but we got a lot of power on these two auras in our hand, so uh, be pretty strong if we get going. Our opponent without a uh, companion, and looks like they've mulliganed to six as well, so all of that's going to help a lot. And Uh, he's passing turn to me without playing a land, which is quite curious. All right, maybe he didn't realize he was on the play and just skipped through his turn accidentally. Maybe he's dredging, trying to get something in his graveyard. All right, looks like a Tron deck. So I think he potentially just didn't realize uh, it was his turn. All right, let's go ahead. Um, I'm gonna think I'm gonna get Dried Arbor here. If this is old Drazi Tron. We'll want to play the Ethereal Armor before he can potentially Chalice. If it's regular Tron, this is like less mana effective, but either way, it's the same amount of damage. Uh, assuming we don't draw another aura and lose one, lose out mana efficiency wise. Um, all right. Looks like they're just going to go for a Tron. Hey, Grisburn's pretty nice. Um, Alright, so we're going to go ahead and uh, cast out all the Glitters. Cast out Grisburn. Attack for a lot. So it should be an attack for 8. And yeah, here if our opponent uh, does something like Blast Zone, uh, we're going to lose our Bogle. Um, we're going to be able to get stuff back from the graveyard with Lurus though. So Nice aggressive attack here, and we'll hope for the best. Hope to kill him next turn. We're any one aura away from killing them next turn as well. See what they do. Why didn't they end of turn fetch their Tron lands? What are they doing? Because uh, we're now in their turn and they didn't uh, do that in my end step. Uh, we might be locking into a victory for round one here, guys. Our opponent's playing pretty loose. Chromatic Sphere, so it's traditional Tron, not Eldrazi Tron. So as I said, any one aura uh, that we could draw here and we'll get the win. Alright, uh, so we just hit another land there. Uh, we'll go ahead and attack for 9. Uh, then I'll just play my Misty Rainforest. I don't think we want to uh, cast Lurus here. I think that would be loose if we play into like an All is Dust or something and then just lose the game from there. So access to 9 mana here for my opponent. Mine only adds 2. Alright, and they've conceded the game. Um, yeah, well that just wasn't even remotely scary just then. So against Tron, I like these six cards here. 
I think Path to Exile is going to be a little bit weak. Same with Spirit Link. Um, potentially, I think remove maybe one Griff Spoon. I don't want to go down too low on Griff Spoons though. Uh, maybe same with Spirit uh, Sentinel's Eyes, and then I'll just minus one all the glitters as well. It could be uh, now I might be able to minus the Core Spirit Dancer instead. Try and keep our aura count nice and high. <clears throat> Alright, opponents have chosen to play first again. Uh, looks like we've got a pretty solid hand here again. It's almost identical to our first hand except we've got totem armor but we're also shut down to chalice on one way harder I don't think regular Tron plays chalice on one but it's mulling to five as well um, so yeah it looks like they had a pretty unfortunate game one maybe they're still getting used to magic online um, as an interface that or they just had nothing in hand and we're playing poorly on top of that. I don't know. Mine into Sphere. You got it, opponent. You got it. Let's go ahead, start our deck thinning. Get our first creature on the board. And ship it back to our opponent here. Uh, looks like we might be versing a natural turn 3 Tron here, uh, which is pretty sucky. Let's get out Razor Verge Thicket while we can. Uh, we've just uh, we're drawn land and creature here, so it's not really what we're looking for. It's not. I would have way preferred like a two drop creature there as well as opposed to all of what's going on here. Uh, he might have nature's claim here. Yeah, he's got the nature's claim for the ethereal armor. That's not too bad. Only three cards in hand for my opponent then. I just drew the fourth. He's got Tron. Let's see what he does with the Tron mana. Ragtusk would be okay for us. Might slow us down a little bit, but draw Ghost Spoon, hit through. Alright, so they just find a forest. What they got for five? O Stone or Worm Coil? Oh, sorry, O Stone or Wolfen Ballista? Mm -mm. Alright, nothing much. Yikes, we draw a canopy land. Um, what do we want to do here? Alright, I think it's attack for a lousy two, pass the turn with fetch land up. We want to get immediate value off our Lurus when it comes into play, um, and we can't do that this turn. Playing a Glaycov Scout into a board sweeper or something just seems pretty bad. Um, and cycling Horizon Canopy means we get too far away from Lurus, uh, cast Ethereal Armor from the grave, so... I mean, all our lines are awful here because we've just drawn nothing um, of any significance whatsoever. Khan the Great Creator. Okay, well, we can beat Khan the Great Creator in the uh, post board. We did bring in the Force of Vigors, so we will be able to destroy Chalice eventually. He plays Chalice and has nothing else, we can attack and kill Khan. Uh, by fetching Dried Arbor, so that'll be okay. <clears throat> I 
I'm just going to yield until I unstep. Uh, we're not doing anything important here. Batterskull. Okay, Batterskull's a bit more annoying, but also a bit weird. Maybe he just wants to protect Khan. Um, I think we leave this land uncracked. Oh, come on, deck. Don't do this shit. Uh, I've had enough of this game. We've just um, drawn literally nothing all game, and we're not beating um, Tron once it's assembled that much, really. Let, let, let's be realistic. Okay, let's uh, get rid of all the glitters as well. Um, go for a more streamlined, mana efficient build here. And uh, I might just minus out one scout. We did bring in the two extra Gout Octig, so we got plenty of creatures here. <clears throat> Cool, perfect. We'll snap keep this. This looks amazing. Turn 2 Stony Silence can really just kill these decks off. Super, super hard. Um, I think I'll start with Windswept Teeth because I want to reduce my chance of drawing more land slightly. Opponents mulligan to 5, so Stony Silence could really come into play as being a strong card here. Um, though if I draw 1 land, I can play Hyena Umbra plus Coronet. Which could be good. Um, Alright, let's lay it on the Razor Verge Thicket here. Alright, turn one map. That map's not going to be doing very much. I hope my opponent is relying on it. Uh, might as well get Temple Garden here. Next turn, double aura, attack in. Alright, second Tron piece, so we may have stopped them from getting top Tron mana, we don't know yet. Okay, and another Grispoon. We'll just run out our Totem Armor, our Grispoon. Attack for three, not a super exciting attack, but hopefully the power of Stony Silence will get us there. We'll leave this in hand in case we draw Force of Vigor. Um, don't want to play out the second green source, or like the only green source in our hand onto the board. Opponent <clears throat> trying to like cycle this during his turn again. Alright, Blast Zone, that's a scary one. Hey look, uh, <laughs> one mana auras that we can jam out and get four power onto the board. Or five power? One, two, three, four, five. five power onto the board. So attack, we put him to seven. Uh, one more attack and we'll get the win. He's got five mana, it will cost... Uh, they can activate Blast on this turn, that's a bit annoying. Uh, we didn't lose Daybreak Coronet though. So we'll attack in here, uh, we'll only get to deal one damage, we'll cast Lurus second main, then any aura from our graveyard plus Daybreak Coroner should be the win. Unfortunately those Grispoons aren't Rancors, so I can't uh, get immediate value from them. Gonna have to play the slow dirty game here. Alright, opponent uh, ate a land source and their map though as well, um, so they're in like a lot of trouble here. Alright, star. Stony Science will shut that right off. Uh, yep, cool. Uh, so it looks like Stony Silence has been very strong for us here. I uh, probably should have left that uncracked for Drydar, but I don't think it's going to hugely matter though. Uh, we'll play this onto the uh, Slippery Bogle, just in case uh, he's got the Dismember. Although it would kill him anyway. Alright, we get the win. Excellent. Awesome. That was a uh, 
that's the first 5-0 um, we've got since the Lazarus reset, and it's... I think it's been a long time coming. Our opponent did not very much in that match, obviously. Um, but yeah, we've definitely been uh, <laughs> fighting the good fight for a while now. Um, so list-wise, look, I think I'm pretty happy with it. Um, Spirit Link is maybe a little bit ambitious now that Burn's not playing Idol on the Great Rebel. I think maybe that could be another Spider Umbra, or maybe remove one Griff Spoon and chuck in two Spirit Mantles or something. Um, the core of the deck is pretty strong though. The sideboard is pretty good. Maybe Rest in Peace is the um, greatest effect I've got in there at the moment for what I'm coming up against, but it's really important against those uh, control decks that have Mystic Sanctuary, so at the same time I feel like it's a must-have. Um, Alright, so where does that take our win rate? Alright, so that took our win rate to a uh, rounded 62, 61.8 to be a little more precise. Um, yeah, I'm, look, I'm happy with the list, as I said. Um, not much to say other than that. Uh, going on to the weekend, um, obviously I'm playing a full league tomorrow on the Friday. Um, so I'll probably look to do one league with this, uh, one league with my Rugs Sagata's Aid deck, um, and then another league maybe with Bant. Um, maybe I'll sleeve that back up and give that another shot and see how it goes um, in the metagame. I don't think Force of Negation is that important at the moment, so I probably uh, won't need to use it, but I'll just look at the aura base and everything and get that all in check and go from there. So thank you all once again um, for tuning in and watching. Uh, look to see you guys uh, for the next video. Cheers.